to be doing a hair color video. I'm going to be dyeing my hair this color that I got for free at the Cream of Nature Shine and Bright event. I think is what it was called. They gave us a little goodie bag and I'll talk about what's in it real quick before I do it. It came with this Cream of Nature scarf. Really nice size scarf too. Um, so that was cool. It came with a whole bunch of samples. So I'll go through the samples really quick. Well first it came with some literature, some information about the line and stuff. It came with this um, comb, exotic shine detangling comb, cool. and a lot, well, a good amount of free samples, lots of samples. So this is the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco, Butterlicious, what is it, Butterlicious Curls, it's a curl hydrating buttercream, looks like that, this is one ounce. I think all of these are one ounce samples. This is the moisturizing milk mask repairing treatment. This is the <clears throat> Pure Licious Co-Wash. It's a cleansing co-wash. I like co-washes. I've never tried this brand of like products before, so that's exciting. Um, it came with the Pudding Perfection Curl Enhancing Cream. It came with the Argan Oil, oh, the Argan Buttermilk, it's a leave-in hair milk. This is half ounce. I mean, the other ones are ounce. And then it came with the Straight From Eden line, some samples from that. This is the Plant Derived Repairing Oil. The... Plant derived hydrating shampoo and plant derived detangling leave in conditioner. And then it also came <laughs> with a box of color. I chose this color. I've never, ever, ever dyed my hair red ever in life. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm really excited. This is Intensive Brad 7. Point six, if you can see that. And this is what the girl looks like on the box. That's very intimidating for sure. But um, this is a little color swatch. My hair is about medium brown. I don't know. It's between medium brown and dark brown, or in black. But I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But my hair. It's lighter on the ends. I doubt that you'll be able to tell. My hair is lighter on the ends and then it gets darker because I previously had like a blondish colored ombre. And I dyed my hair back black because I said I wasn't going to be dyeing my hair anymore. And then I got this free box of dyes. So I was just like, I'm going to try it. Why not? It's just hair. So I'm going to dye my hair today. My hair is currently in mini twists. I've had them in for about a couple weeks now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section into four and I'm gonna braid them up. And then just to get my sections going and then I'm gonna undo my mini twists. And I'll come back to y'all. That obviously didn't work, <laughs> but I'll come back to y'all. So I've taken all my mini twists out and this is what it looks like. I like it. I think it's actually really cute. And I think it's cute. Fluffy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to section my hair into four. And I'm going to detangle.
So this is what my sections look like. So now I'm going to prepare to color. I'm actually going to color it in sections because I'm going to go for like an ombre type situation. And these sections are going to help me figure out what I'm going to do. So I'm going to open the box. <clears throat> And in the box, there are instructions and probably the gloves. Yep. The gloves. It comes with the color, the color, the bottle, the color. It comes with the intensive conditioning treatment. And I actually think I have a sample of this, so I might, let me see, let me check my bag, because this is probably not going to be enough, I lied. And then it comes with, ooh, fancy, this argan oil treatment. So I'm going to go ahead and start that, let me see this. snaps off. I'm gonna snap that right back open here. So what I'm gonna do is open this. Open this. Poke this. Pour this in here. I'm gonna do this down here so I don't spill. Okay. Put this in here. Shake, shake, shake. Put my gloves on real quick before I forget and end up drying my fingers red. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. And I'm gonna start. Well, I'm gonna take the time first. What time is it? It's nine o'clock. Take this off and begin. I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna start on the ends. I'm gonna write the color through my ends. strong oh gosh that's really strong and I'm gonna try not to go past my um rubber band so that's that I'm gonna continue on because I just want to deposit the color first and then I'll go on and really start to add more color These gloves are terrible. I'm getting dye on my hands already. So I'm going to remove these little bands now. And I'm going to go back because I have about half a bottle. And I'm going to go back and... First of all, I'm going to change my gloves because I don't want red hands. I have some other gloves. If you have gloves, don't use the ones in the box. Because... You look like you murdered somebody. And that's not what I'm going for. So I'm going to use some more of this color. And 
I mean, it's like the shoe was in here, but it's burning my eyes a little bit. The smell. I'm gonna take this up a little bit. Not too much to leave my roots. And you see, I'm finger combing it through. I'm really trying to coat every strand. It's already lifting. Because my ends were already lighter. I'm going to leave this on for, I'm going to check after like 10 minutes. Because I don't want super bright. But I want bright. What I'm going to do is put the shower cap on it. Ooh, and wipe this dye off my ear. Because I don't want a red ear. And off me. Because I don't want to look like I'm bleeding. And this is what it got on my hand. But if you were a less messy applicator than me, you would probably be fine. But y'all know I don't really care. Well, I'm going to let this sit and I'll be back to you when I come and check it. Hey y'all, so this is the color after about 15 minutes. You can't really even tell. Let's see if I can get it in the light. No, you can't really tell, but it's lifting really nicely. It's a nice little burgundy hue right now. You can't really tell though. So I'll, come, I'll probably leave it back, leave it on for about 15 more minutes. 10 or 5, 10, 15, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it on there for a little bit longer. So this is the color. You can't really tell in this lighting, but it lifted. Well, yeah, it doesn't look red in the camera, but it looks more red in person. This lighting is really yellow, so it's making it look orange. Opposed to red, but it is red. I didn't want it super bright, so I left it on for about 35 minutes. This is what I got. I'm going to take you all outside so you all can see the real color once I rinse it out. Um, I do think that it's going to lift, or it's going to appear a bit brighter once I rinse it out. So, this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with it. It's very subtle. And I like it. So, when I rinse it out, I'll come back. Hey y'all, so I'm outside my front door. This is the color I got. I'm looking crazy, but this is the color I got. At uh, first, I was disappointed because I thought it was going to be brighter. But then I realized when I looked back on the box that this is the color it said it would be. I guess I was hoping for something a little bit brighter. I'm trying not to blind y'all, but also at the same time show y'all the color. It's burgundy, like. Like, it's burgundy. And I really like the color, but I was hoping for something a little bit brighter. So, I'm going to go back and probably get another box to brighten it up a little bit. Crazy, y'all. But I really actually do like the color because it, it did lift it to the color that it said it would. But I'm looking for something a little bit more bright, so I'm going to probably do it again. And I'll show you all the results when I'm done. So, I really like it. I'm going to rinse. Right now, I have the conditioner treatment in. I'm going to rinse that out. And then, I'm going to go to the store and pick up another dye. And, so yeah, two thumbs up. I like the product really well. Alright, bye. This picture is a picture of my curl pattern and is outside in direct sunlight. You can see how bright the color is. The next picture, this picture is inside but in direct in sunlight. So you can see how subtle the color looks. And then the last picture is a pick stitch. The top left is it outside in direct sunlight. The top right is in artificial light. And I did um wash and go on my hair. The bottom left is in the same bathroom. It's in the bathroom in natural in artificial light and then the bottom right is an up close picture
so thank you all for watching i hope you all liked the video and if you did leave a comment in the comment box below and thumbs up let me know what kind of videos what other kind of videos you want to see and if you liked the natural hair videos let me know in the comment box below thank you bye